Hi, everyone. Thank you for joining the Google for Games Developer Summit. My name is Mo. I am a cloud gaming architect at Google Cloud. Today, I will be joined by Christina and Jason from Unity to talk about Unity game simulation. If you're a game developer, you probably know Unity, the leading real-time 3D development engine that supports over 25 platforms and powers 50% of all new games. What you might not know is Unity and Google Cloud have partnered for years to make game development easier and more accessible for more creators using the power of the cloud. Last fall, Unity announced Unity Simulation, a new cloud-based product that enables designers, developers, and creators to generate synthetic training data at scale, as well as test, train, and validate all their computer vision and perception projects in Unity by harnessing the power of the cloud. Within Google Cloud, Unity leverages Google's turnkey Kubernetes solution, GKE. GKE, or Google Kubernetes Engine, gives Unity developers a secure way to manage and operate simulations at scale. GKE provides strong security defaults, such as encryption at rest, encryption in transit, leading to a more secure environment for Unity developers. As an added benefit of running GKE, Unity is able to seamlessly integrate with GCP's ecosystem. Unity uses Google's virtual private cloud to define its global network, as well as Google Cloud Identity and Access Management to manage fine-grained access control, each of which have first-class integrations within GKE. Today, we're excited to help our friends at Unity announce their latest innovative product in the world of simulation that's specifically tailored for game developers. I would like to introduce Christina from Unity to talk about Unity game simulation. Thanks, Mo. Creating games is hard, and launching a quality game is even harder. Yet, the first impression your game makes on your players can determine its long-term success. To build a quality game, you need to thoroughly balance it prior to launch. A well-balanced game will create a fun experience for all your players. You'll appeal to more players and keep them happy and engaged, which means a higher lifetime value. So how do you create a well-balanced game? Currently, the answer is extensive manual balancing. Through spreadsheets and human playtesters, you'll tediously try to find the right damage value for a weapon or the ideal speed of a character. But these are just two of hundreds of possible parameters that you might want to adjust in your game. In order to get these right, you may need to spend hours tweaking values in oversimplified and inaccurate spreadsheets. Or you contract dozens of human playtesters but the feedback you receive is subjective and costly. Today, we're excited to announce Unity Game Simulation, supported by the Google Cloud infrastructure. Unity Game Simulation is an affordable solution that complements your pre-launch playtests to provide faster iteration and results at scale. The tool allows you to balance more and iterate on your game more often. Using the online dashboard, you have the power to set up, run, and analyze thousands of simulations. Because these player interactions run simultaneously, you also speed up your balancing. The scale of cloud balancing provides more accurate results than manual balancing and spreadsheets can't replicate. This quantitative balancing coverage costs a fraction of a playtester's hourly rate, giving them more time to focus on the look and feel of the game. Let's dive into an example. Ferion Games, a Canadian game development studio, created Death Carnival, a fast-paced top-down shooter. One of the features of the game is the weapon socket system. Each weapon allows players to select a base weapon, ammo, weapon module, and temporary power-ups. Each of these combinations is made up of many variables that control the playstyle and efficiency of the weapon. In earlier versions of the game, the team balanced weapons by hand. They would configure a weapon, compile a build, send it out to playtesters, and watch them play. Based on the feedback, they would reconfigure the weapons and repeat. Each iteration of this process would take hours. Enter Unity Game Simulation. 
Furion used the tool to run thousands of simulations. They were able to identify the right combinations of base weapons, ammo, weapon modules, and power-ups for their desired survivability and level completion time. This allowed them to ensure the weapons were balanced. By configuring the weapon, weapon parameters in multi-stage simulations, Ferion was able to condense the equivalent of 165 million playthroughs into just 10 efficient simulations, taking just over three days to balance their weapon system. They estimate that the tool saved them $80,000 and 600 hours of dev time. Those resources would just previously have been spent on managing playtesters, measuring weapon performance, and compiling builds. Now, they can instead be spent on polishing the creative elements of the game. Jason, an engineer on the team, will now demonstrate how Furion achieved these results. After deciding to use game simulation, a game developer at Furion implements the Unity game simulation package and uploads a build to the game simulation service from the editor window. I won't go through this in detail, but the process is simple. Once the developer has uploaded the Death Carnival simulation build, it's time to create a simulation from the web UI. This is where designers configure and run simulations. For this Death Carnival simulation, we will be testing 45 key combinations of weapons, ammo, and modules 100 times each in order to establish the mean performance of each combination with high confidence. Let's name this build Phase 1. And we'll select our build from the dropdown. For the values in our simulation, we'll be testing shotgun, machine gun, and missile. Our ammo count will be 10, 15, 20, 25, and 30. And for our weapon module, we'll be using triple shot, wave, and burst. Once the simulation is finished, we'll get a spreadsheet with a row for each combination of these parameter values. And lastly, we'll run each, simu each combination 100 times. So in total, this will run 4,500 combinations of simulations. So fast forward one hour, and we can see that this simulation has already completed, and we have our aggregate data. So let's open up this data. I've gone in ahead and imported the file into Google Sheets and made a chart with the level completion time by weapon combination. So here we can see the chart. And in this chart, uh, we see the shotgun and machine gun both have a, uh, some pretty underpowered combinations. As a next step, I can buff these combinations and run the simulation once more. Furion has already done this, so let's take a look at the final results. And we can see that the underpowered combinations have come down pretty drastically in player completion time, uh, which translates to, to a much better gameplay experience for Death Carnival's players. Now that we've seen Unity game simulation in action, let's peel back the onion a bit and talk about the underlying infrastructure. We chose GKE to build Unity game simulation on top of because it gives us the container management we wanted. With Google Compute Engine, we would have needed to manage the components individually, such as auto-scaling, networking, security, container health, etc. With GKE, we just specify what we want and it's managed for us. One of the most important features in building Unity game simulation is GKE's auto-scaling. We need the ability to dynamically scale up our number of resources so we can quickly handle workloads of thousands of simulations without having to pay for idle resources. Because games all have different system requirements, using separate node pools, we're able to adjust this instance type for each game when we schedule a simulation. With Unity Game Simulation, users tend to run a mix of smaller and larger batches of simulations, so it's important for us to have fast scaling of resources. The smaller number of simulations a user is running, the more impactful any extra overhead is. So being able to quickly scale up as needed lets us handle both types of workloads. In addition to GKE, we used a number of other GCP offerings in building this tool. One example is Stackdriver, which we use for our services. The log aggregation and metric instrumentation around GKE and other Google Cloud resources helped minimize the work in setting up our dashboards and alerting as we transitioned from our initial proof of concept into a production system. Because we're running user code, it's also important for us to sandbox everything as much as possible. With IAM and RBAC, the user code containers can be configured to run with no permissions to any GKE or GCP resources, 
even on the same node. IAM also helps secure our resources and data by locking them down to just a few necessary admins for our services so we're able to create a service account for each of them with the minimum required permissions. In addition to GKE and other products we just mentioned, I'd like to quickly cover some of the other tools that we found very useful in the development of Unity game simulation. First is Cloud SQL, which we're using as the database for our services that manage our job state and orchestration. Second is GCR, which we're using along with IAM that I mentioned earlier for securely managing all of our Docker containers. We also use Dataproc for handling the aggregation of our simulation data from each of the individual simulation instances and finally, Terraform, which helps us manage all the GCP infrastructure that we have. In summary, Unity Game Simulation creates a more efficient, accurate, and affordable solution for game balancing. It complements playtesting, backing human feedback with quantitative data. Try the open beta for free. Visit unity.com products slash game simulation for more information. And thank you all for watching.